Today, we finally got the long-awaited reveal from the brilliant minds at 1X, a company at the forefront of AGI robotics research that is also backed by OpenAI. What you're about to see is called NEO, their first AGI-powered humanoid robot. I'm going to show you a few seconds from a short clip that they just released that will blow your mind and give you a glimpse into the future of AI and robotics. Take a look at this. All right, so there you have it. That, I think, truly shows us what the future of AGI-powered humanoid robots might look like. The reason I believe this demo is probably one of the most groundbreaking reveals I've seen in the entirety of AI and robotics so far is because of the unparalleled intelligence and adaptability of this robot. One of the first things that I've seen many individuals on social media actively discussing is the fact that Neo is arguably one of the only robots where people are debating whether it's actually an AI or if there's a human controlling it remotely. And I would say that's probably the biggest compliment 1X could receive. If people are questioning whether this is genuine AGI to the point where they don't believe it's just a programmed robot, I'd say 1X has done a fantastic job. So one of the things we have to take a look at from this demo is, of course, this first part. What we see in this first clip shows Neo's remarkable responsiveness and fluidity of motion. As the woman ties her shoelace, Neo patiently waits, then smoothly bends to pick up the dropped item with precision that matches human movement. This dexterity around such menial tasks may seem quite trivial at first, but it actually demonstrates Neo's capabilities in handling such small, yet equally important day-to-day -day tasks. And maybe, for example, Neo can use this for assisting elderly or injured people who struggle with basic motor functions that we take for granted. We also see Neo smoothly track the individual walking away, with head movement and vision systems creating attentiveness to stimuli like a person, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. I think that what 1X Robotics has done here with their aim, which is of course to utilize a complex system of neural networks and advanced language models for a level of cognitive dexterity and precision that we've simply never seen before, is just remarkably accurate. And I think what we can also see here is that Neo's vision system works rather well in order to track individuals as they move around, just like we saw in the demo video before. Although yes, we will get more information but on closer inspection, if you do look right close to its face, we can see that there does seem to be some sort of cameras that Neo is likely using for advanced vision and sensing. Now, one of the features that you may have overlooked is as Neo interacts with the woman. As the woman returns, Neo smoothly extends its arm for a hug, and this gesture may seem simple, but it actually demonstrates the incredible safety features built into Neo's design. Its compliant soft exterior ensures a gentle touch even if it were to accidentally bump into someone. And this robot is basically designed for harmonious coexistence with humans, not dominance. Now, this wasn't the only demo that they showed us for Neo. They also showed us another demo in a different environment that shows us just how incredible Neo is at adapting to other scenarios. Now, in this next clip, we get to see Neo navigating a kitchen environment, making its way around the room to assist with some common household chores. Now watch closely how Neo smoothly opens up the dishwasher, bending down to neatly unload some glasses and plates, and notice the clear precision embedded in its movements here. The way it grasps those fragile drinking glasses, carefully placing them up on the countertop, demonstrates the exacting fluidity and control that I think highlights the engineering feats 1X Robotics and OpenAI have accomplished here, guys. Because handling tasks that require that delicate, human-like touch with the right subtlety, that's been the missing link for so many robots that we've seen so far, guys. Even the recently announced Figure 02 didn't have this level of precision in its movements. But seeing this demo of Neo, I can finally say that this might just be the breaking point where robotics truly begins to bridge the gap between human intuition and machine efficiency. Continuing with the video, we then see it handle a raw egg while helping out with some food preparation without cracking the shell, again showcasing the sophistication of Neo's tactile sensing and limb control in achieving just the right level of gentle pressure. Mastering nuanced motor skills like that intricate object manipulation 
represents such tremendous efforts by the One X Robotics team. Whether it's household duties like preparing a meal or assisting elderly individuals with those fragile everyday items, a humanoid robot that moves and handles objects so naturally could offer immense value, guys. And achieving such a level of motor skills, of course, involves sophisticated sensory feedback and advanced algorithms that allow for adaptive manipulation. It requires a combination of sensitivity, nuanced control, and real-time decision-making that even state-of-the-art robotic systems find difficult to replicate. However, we can see that NEO manages to do this task quite effortlessly. I think this demo perfectly highlights that yes, this is actually a robot powered by AGI and not just a narrow AI system, considering we can see the level of adaptability and understanding of context that NEO demonstrates in various situations. Now, if you do head on over to the NEO webpage, we also do get to see this demo right here. And I think this one is probably a little bit even more fascinating because we see NEO in a range of different tasks that most humans are currently engaged in on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, the reason I like this video a lot more is because we do see certain tasks that require a level of precision and not only that, but a level of strength that I think is going to be needed in AGI-powered humanoid robots. The first clip that we do see is Neo being able to grab a racing bike and then, of course, pick it up, which is showing us just exactly how strong this humanoid robot is going to be. The next scene that we do get after the bike scene is Neo being able to wipe up some crumbs or some mess. But the scene that I do want to focus on is Neo actually managing to pour the cocoa beans into the coffee machine. The reason I think this one is so impressive is because having an AGI-powered humanoid robot that's able to do these tasks, they do require a level of precision that most humanoid robots do struggle with. The problem with, you know, a lot of humanoid robots is that when you're trying to generalize certain tasks, it becomes harder with tasks that require a lot more precision because the degree of error that robots have to try and account for is really, really thin on tasks like these, where you have to really get everything precise or the task is going to fail. For example, slot inserting things in, you know, tasks that humans would find incredibly easy, these are tasks for robots that they would find extraordinarily hard given the level of complexity that these systems currently operate at. Now many people have questioned if these AGI-powered robots are going to do the big thing, which is of course walking, and the CEO did say that our approach to walking is fully learned all the way down to Torquies. So basically what they're saying is that this robot's walking ability is all learned through AI, not just pre-programmed stuff. It goes right down to controlling the torque the twisting force in each joint. This makes the movement more adaptable and natural looking. Now they're saying it's still a work in progress, right? They've made big strides, but the walking isn't perfect yet. They're still working on it, but I gotta say, it looks pretty darn cool already. So One X Robotics is aiming to have Neo walking and running just like a human by the end of the year. That's a pretty ambitious goal, right? And it really gives us an idea of their timeline for getting this robot to move just like we do. Now, before we wrap up this video, I just want to quickly discuss what the founder has shared on Twitter. This tweet in particular is actually pretty interesting. He mentioned 20 degrees of freedom. That's basically telling how many different ways the robot can move its joints. More degrees of freedom mean more human-like movement. And check this out, Neo can deadlift 70 kilograms. That's like 154 pounds. That's actually pretty strong for a robot that I presume is almost entirely run on batteries. And to achieve this, I believe they're using this tendon-driven system with force control. It's kind of like how our muscles and tendons work, letting the robot move more naturally and adapt better. And the best part is that it's designed to be safe around humans. It'll yield if it bumps into something or someone so it's safer to work with. Oh, and it's built to handle a thousand falls before anything major breaks, which is pretty, pretty impressive. Lastly, they mentioned something about matching the robot's movements to human movements for better skill transfer. Basically, they're trying to make the robot move as close to human-like as possible so it can learn and copy our skills more accurately. Now, I do know that like I said at the start, some people were speculating on whether or not this was actually just a very advanced narrow AI system and not true AGI. But of course, like I said before, 
even though there was this post going around saying that there's no way this level of intelligence is possible yet, the community notes show us that this is indeed a genuine AGI system powering a humanoid robot. If you enjoyed this video and you simply cannot get enough of OpenAI's Neo, you can actually check out the first episode of OpenAI's new documentary series, where they do in-depth interviews with the innovators behind Neo. It's a 20-minute video that goes behind the scenes on what Neo actually is. So I think you guys would all enjoy it. And that's all for this video, folks. If you've stuck around this long, I really appreciate that. If you like the video, why not like and subscribe? It's sure to help the channel and motivate me to continue doing what I do. If, on the other hand, you didn't like the video, please let me know in the comments below so that I can improve on my mistakes. As always, you've all been fantastic. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.